Hello there, welcome back to AI Cave. My name is AI Elias, and today I want to talk to you about Fallout New California. So, if you haven't seen my uh, Fallout 76 review slash rant, be sure to check that out, it's in the top right, but if you stay until the very end, then you'll know that I'm planning to play Fallout New California, which is a mod for Fallout New Vegas. And when I say mod, I mean that loosely. It's basically like a new game set in California. This is kind of an introduction to that. I wanted to talk about my expectations for the Let's Play and to just make you guys aware of some issues also that could come up that could affect the Let's Play in a few minor ways. Currently, Fallout New California is in beta. It's in beta 2.02. Now, I think it's 2.03 with the patch. So there are still issues with it. There's there's some uh, places where the quest is messed up and stuff like that. But overall, I have played it and I have played the very first part. And it is very good. The story is very good. But there are issues and I just want to be upfront with you about those. So I will be playing it with a heavily modded Fallout New Vegas. This is the same uh, Fallout New Vegas that you've been seeing on the channel. It does look very nice, but I am expecting some stability issues. Now, if you're watching the Let's Play, don't worry. I'm gonna cut those out so you won't have to watch those or anything, but uh, just letting you know if you're planning to download this mod by yourself, even without my heavily modded load order, there are still issues with the mod. Uh, but once again, I just wanted to reiterate that you will not be seeing those in the Let's Play in any way. Unless, and I really want to point that out here, unless it causes some really big issue to where I am not able to finish the mod. That is the only uh, case. So if I run into something where it's just constant crashing, and if I won't be able to do anything about that, then uh, unfortunately, the Let's Play might have to come to an end. If nothing like that happens, that'll be great. And if something like that does happen, I will try to play back through it in a less modded game and see if the issue is still there. Uh, so there's that. So let, let me go over some of the quick issues that you may see if you're watching the Let's Play. There are some texture issues and I'm not quite certain if it's with my load order or not or if it's inherently with the mod. So far I've only seen one. It's like a wa small water bug in one area of the game. I'm not sure if it's in any more areas, but I saw it there. That is annoying and I will try to see if I can fix it if it does persist. Secondly, there are frame rate issues in the very beginning of the game because it's an old engine and honestly, I'm surprised that the devs even got it running at all. But yeah, there are some frame rate issues and my my like heavily modded game just multiplies those issues so in, it's in one area in particular so far that I've noticed but in the outside world it's pretty good. I mean it's really good because I'm able to get it up to like 60 FPS no problem in about 99% of the game. It's just that 1% where they have a bunch of scripts running and stuff that everything starts chugging. But again that's not really noticeable if you're watching it on YouTube. If you're playing it for yourself you'd feel it because I was definitely feeling it but for you it should be good, but I'm just letting you know. The other thing is that I will be playing it with an ENB, which happens to modify how the visuals come in, I guess, to put it simply. So there are there is an effect in the game, it's called an image space modifier. The simplest way to describe it is a screen when it fades to black or it fades to white. I did not play with an ENB for the very first level of the game, so there are still those image space modifiers, but later I am going to be turning on the ENB. So if there is like a fade to black or something, you might see some some stuff that's not supposed to be there. And by that I mean just like character movement and stuff like that, which would normally happen after the screen's black, but you'll see it, or you might see it. Hopefully there's not too many of those after you get out of the initial area of the game. So yeah, this has been the intro to Fallout New California. I hope you guys stick around the channel. I hope you guys watch those videos, and hopefully I won't have too many issues with them. Overall, the story is great so far, so uh, highly recommend it. And highly recommend watching it if you are not interested in Fallout. It's It still might be interesting for you. Anyway guys, I hope you have a nice day, and I will catch you in the next video.